Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a plus b if we have 1 over a plus 1 over b equals to 1 over 5. And here our a and b should must be belongs to positive integer, it means that we find the value of a plus b only for positive integer values. So here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we need to break uh, this fraction. So in order to break this fraction we need to multiplying both of the sides by because here you see that uh, all of these three fractions have different values and when we find the uh, LCM of these values uh, so is LCM will becomes here 5 times of AB. So that we multiply both of the sides by LCM of these terms so that uh, multi we multiplying by 5 times of AB. And when we multiply 5 times of AB on each of these terms it will be written as 5 times of AB multiplied by 1 over A plus 5 times of AB multiplied by 1 over B equals to 5 times of AB multiplied by 1 over 5. And now you see here this a and this a are cancelled out by each other and we will get here 5p plus this b and b are cancelled out by each other and we get here 5a is equals to this 5 and this 5 are also cancelled out by each other and we get here ab. So here we get <coughs> this is the equation 5b plus 5a equals to ab and now here we need to move both of these two terms to the right hand side and it will becomes here a b this is plus 5 a becomes minus 5 a this is plus 5 b becomes minus 5 b and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here you see that the first two terms involve a or in order in, in other words we just say that uh, in the first two terms we have a b the common term so that when we take common a from here we get the remaining values are b minus 5 so from here we get 5b is equals to 0. So here our uh, next claim is that we need to find the uh, factors of this equation so in order to make the factors of this equation uh, here we need uh, to add uh, 5 square on both of the sides of this equation. So when we add both of the sides by 5 square it will be written as a times of b minus 5 minus this is 5b and we add this is 5 square equals to 0 plus 5 square. And now you see here we have this is a times of b minus 5 and here we need to take common minus 5 because 5 is lies on both of these two terms. So after taking common minus 5 uh, this uh, positive sign will becomes negative and here we get b so we get b minus 5 is equal to 0 plus 5 square becomes 5 square and we know about that 5 square is equal to 25. And now you see here both of these two terms involve b minus 5 so that we take common b minus 5 from here and we get the remaining values are a minus 5 is equals to 25. So you see here uh, we easily make the factor of left hand side but now you see here in the left hand side we have uh, two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor so that here we need to find any two pair of positive integers whose product becomes 25. So these numbers are uh, 1 times of 25 <coughs> becomes 25 and 5 times of 5 is also becomes here 25 and uh, 25 times of 1 is equals to 25. So we have these are the three possibilities in which we get the uh, product of two positive integer becomes 25. So here uh, we just uh, uh, make here three cases and we can just solve three cases and we get the values of a and b so here uh, first we solve case number one so in first case uh, we need to compare both of these two factors on both of these two values and it will becomes here b minus 5 is equals to 1 and a minus 5 is equals to 25 and 
<clears throat> because here we find the value of a plus b so that's why we need to add both of these values so when we add both of these values it will become so here this will become b plus a becomes a plus b then we add minus 5 and minus 5 becomes minus 10 and 1 plus 25 becomes 26 so here we need to move this minus b to the right hand side and we get the value of a plus b so this is 26 plus 10 and we have a plus b is equals to 26 plus 10 becomes here 36 so this is the first value of a plus b and clearly see here this 36 is belongs to positive integer okay so this is the valid solution and uh, here in the next step uh, we <clears throat> just make here our second case and in second case uh, we compare uh, our these two factors with these two numbers this is 5 and 5 and now here we uh, write b minus 5 is equals to 5 and a minus 5 is also equals to 5 so these are the two numbers as two equations sorry so here we need to solve these two equations and uh, we again get the value of a plus b from here so here again we uh, add both of these values and when we add these two values it will become here a plus b minus this is minus 5 minus 5 becomes minus 10 this is 5 plus 5 becomes plus 10 so this is negative term when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes positive and we get a plus b is equals to 10 plus 10 and we know that here we get a plus b equals to 10 plus 10 becomes 20 so this is the second value of a plus b and again you see here 20 is belongs to the positive integer so here we again have this is the valid solution and now here we move towards our third case <clears throat> and in third case we need uh, to uh, compare our left hand side with third pair of numbers so we get b minus 5 is equal to 25 and a minus 5 is equals to 1 this is the our third case so here again for the values of a plus b uh, we need to uh, sum up both of these two values and we have this is a plus b and minus and minus 5 minus 5 becomes minus 10 and 25 plus 1 becomes here 26 uh, so again we move minus 10 to the right hand side and it will becomes here a plus b is equals to 26 plus 10 and we get here a plus b equals to 36 so also you see here this 36 is belongs to positive integer so this is the third solution but here we in case number one we also get the value of a plus b is 36 so that we have there are two uh, different solutions or two different values of a plus b this is not a solution set but here we get two values of a plus b that is uh, the first value is 36 and uh, the second value is 20 so these are the two different values of two different positive integer values of a plus b and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos